Richard, you got some sort of beef over there? Uh, it's not a beef. It's kind of a beef. Um, I just wanted to, because I was thinking about some some stuff about the social justice kind of stuff that we cover on our show. And it occurred to me that I should talk a little bit about why I never go to the Rainbow Reefers meetup or the Women in Reefers meetup. And, and I know they're open to everyone, but, and this probably, um, I, I think of those meetups as safe spaces. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't feel that I should be bringing my cisgendered white male juice energy into those meetings, um, just to go, um, you know, just to say I've been there. I, I don't want to, and then I don't want to dance around and go, well, I was at the meeting. I, I want to support it, but, but I really think of those things as safe spaces and they don't, they don't need me. My feeling is they don't need nor want me in there while they're doing their thing. Um, now I could be wrong about that. And if anybody wants to invite me, say, hey, I want you as a member of this community, I want you to come to this meeting just to be there. I don't want you to say anything, you know, you know, unless you're asked, but, or, you know, I just, your presence there would be something I would want. If anybody in either of those groups said that to me, I would go, <clears throat> but I'm not, I'm not just going to show up because it's like, uh, for the same reason, I'm not going to an AA meeting uninvited. You know, it's, it's, that's a, boy, someone's going to take that the wrong way. Um, but it's just, I, I got no business there unless I'm asked to bring my business there. So it's a, for me, it's respecting the safe space uh, and knowing that I'm not part of that community. I am, I'm fucking old white man now. Man, I don't need to be around there, <laughs> in that, my that opinion. Is, that is so funny that you said that because you and I didn't necessarily powwow on that, but but hardcore that has been my feeling for a long time too. Like, it's funny, like, uh, you know, since we started the show, the LGBTQ community like has really embraced the, in the reefing has really embraced us. And on Facebook, there's like a rainbow reefers like thing. And they, they asked me and you to be in there. I don't say shit in there. And, you know, the other thing too, is like, you know, um, when there was a, a magna or whatever show, you know, they'll often like reserve a room and have like a meeting. It has never once occurred to me, like, Again, you say with the safe space, and I know some people get squirmy about that that word, but they have they have sequestered a room to have a little power. It'd be like because they also do a professional aquarius. And like, what if I was just a rando that walked into there and they're like, Who are you? And like, oh, I'm just a rando. And they're like, Why, bro? I this think is there's there there is that. And there, I think there's a little bit more. We you and I tend to take over rooms if given a tiny, tiny in. And I certainly don't want to do that to other people who are talking about, about important shit. I'd be um, horrified. You know, I, I guess the real reason to bring it up is because I realized, oh God, I hope people aren't thinking that I'm slighting them by not going to those meetings. I'm intentionally not going to those meetings unless it asked because it feels like going to, you know, dropping in at somebody's wedding who you just don't really know. It just feels... it. And I, I, I think safe spaces are really important. I, I think, I know people go, ooh, but everyone's got safe spaces, you know? Everyone got my man cave. Yeah, that's your safe space, buddy. No one else goes in there and gives you shit. That's, a, that's almost the definition of man cave. Everyone else stay the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so everyone understands a safe space. So I want, and I want to be respectful of that. Um, and if you want me to just come and be there and sit in the room, I will I will do my best at those meetups to come and just sit in the room. Yeah, and it's I don't know the word for it, but it it seems so silly. I love being an ally and I love for those people to to feel like I'm an ally, but like the last thing I want to do is take my white straight ass into a room and say, "Well, this is what I think." The fucking room is not even there for, you know, I'll be on the sidelines like when someone slights you and say, "Hey, you know, not cool, man." But I, I, no one needs to hear the room isn't there for my opinion as a straight white dude. Yeah. 
I have, I have zero ego about being asked to be an ally, but just hush. That's fine. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going to say whatever I say, what I think about these issues, because I'm allowed to say whatever I say and think about these issues. But but I really think it's important to take the lead from the people who are actually in those communities. You know, um, you know, as soon as as soon as people start started organizing around the the reef to reef crap, you know, I backed way the hell off. I was like, you guys don't need me anymore. I'm here if you want me, but it's not about me. Well, um, we will do like what we did. We'll talk about it and we'll bring it to social media because there's so many people that were like, oh, damn, I didn't even know that was going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll shine a light on it, but I'm not going to direct it. Yeah. So, th so there, I think safe spaces is important. I think, uh, I think those meetings are important and I think it's awesome when they're happening either online or live and, and me and Ben not being there is, is respect. Yep. Um, and if, and if, if we've got that wrong, cause we don't know what the hell we're doing, uh, just let us know and we'll do something different. Yep. There you go. That's what I have.